Hi, I'm Suzanne Manassian, and today I'm going to show you Lotus Connections. Lotus Connections is an enterprise social software suite that includes several services, profiles, communities, social bookmarks, which we call dog ear, activities, and blogs, and aggregates all these services together in what we call our home page. The Lotus Connection services can be used independently or can be used together. Today I'm going to focus on one of these services, and that's the profile. The Lotus Connections profiles help people in your organization get connected with each other. They can learn about each other's skills, interests, expertise, even how to get in touch with each other. Let's take a look at the profile. This is an example of a Lotus Connections profile. This profile is for Jasmine, and from it we can see that she's in the sales department out of Mexico City. We can view more detailed information about her here in the sections on her profile page. In the About Me section, we can view that she has experience in product development and design, and we can also see what she participates in. In her background section, we're viewing what colleges she went to, and here in her contact information, we can view what's the best way to get in touch with her, what phone numbers to use to reach out to her, and we can even see her online status. Now the information that's in this contact information section can be synchronized with corporate directories, databases, even human resource systems, and we can even allow in our organization Jasmine to update information and push back to those source systems. Now on the profile, I can learn a lot about Jasmine and her interests, but I can also see what she's posting to Lotus Connections through the recent post section, which shows us what she's posted for dog ear bookmarks and the social bookmarking capability, what communities she belongs to and when they've been updated, recent blog entries that she's written, and also even activities that she's a member of that we may have in common. Here on the left hand side we see tags. Jasmine can tag herself, giving more information about her at a quick view. When people search on information inside of profiles, the search will look at these tags as well as the information in the profile to help determine the right people to reach out to. We can also enable tags to be social so that other people can tag each other. Here on the right hand side, we also see some other pieces of information. In the report to chain, we see who Jasmine reports into, and we can actually navigate over to their Lotus Connections components as well. If we were looking for Jasmine and maybe she wasn't available, we might want to look for people who are on her team, so we can look at the view of the same manager, showing us who else is at her level. You'll also see in Jasmine's profile that there's a list of her recent colleagues. Here we can go in to view her full list of colleagues. When other people come to Jasmine's profile, they can add, add her as a colleague, and she can accept or re reject that invitation. These are a list of the people who she's connected to, and we can again navigate over to their connection components or view some quick information about them. Here Jasmine can add colleagues, she can remove colleagues, she can even take more action, and she can also accept or ignore the invitations that she has to connect. Back on Jasmine's profile page, we can also see some additional links to places that she has profiles in on the internet, or even to websites that she wants to add in to have a quick link from her profile page. Now, the information we see on the right and left hand sides of this page are widgets and these widgets can be added or removed based on who you want to have access to these widgets. Jasmine is a profile type of a regular employee, so with regular employees we're looking at information that's listed here and also widgets that we've added in. We can also have additional profile types, for example, let's say we have a profile type for interns, and interns we may want to remove the report to chain and replace that with one of our own custom widgets. And we can also change what contact information we want to make displayed for our intern. We can even add additional fields, for example, 
what school they went to, or what their project is. It's easy for Jasmine to keep her profile up to date. Here on the edit page, she can edit the information, and she can use our rich text editors to add in information, links, and photographs right into her About Me and her background section. She can also upload her photos or even have her name pronunciation be available right here within her profile page. Let's say you're looking for someone who has a particular skill. You can search profiles and either search by the contact information that can be displayed on the profile or you can search by tags and related information. Let's say we're looking for information about the environment and our environmental policies. Here we can run a search and we'll see the people whose information and tags match that search. Here we can navigate over to their profile and we can view information about them. And from here we can very quickly add them to our colleagues if there's someone we want to stay in touch with. Here I can send a message and I can click send invitation which will send them a request for being one of my colleagues. You can also leverage the Lotus Connections profiles as well as the other services in your own search capabilities. Here's an example of an intranet search which returns not only intranet search results but also relevant bookmarks from dog ear as well as profile matches based on searching through our API. Thanks for joining me in this demonstration of Lotus Connections Profile. If you have any further questions, shoot me an email, or check out the blog that I write with a few members of my team. And if you're looking for more information on Lotus Connections, check out our website. Thanks a lot.